Kate Inferno, the tanker driver involved in that horrible crash on I-75, couldn't be saved. Meantime, MDOT crews are working right now to replace the concrete on the freeway after 8,000 gallons of fuel burned. A one-mile stretch of northbound lanes remains closed in Lincoln Park. The Now Detroit's Jane Park is live near the scene with the latest as the evening rush hour gets underway now. Jane. That's right. I'm standing uh, just off the outer drive exit on the northbound side. Behind me, you can see a little bit of those uh, construction vehicles hard at work. The crews are working right now. But before that, uh, we want to mention that Michigan State Police have identified the driver who died of his injuries in this crash. He is 53 year old Ronnie Blaine Wynn of Detroit. His company, Corrigan Oil in Brighton, today telling us their heartfelt thoughts go out to his wife and two daughters. We're told he was employed with the company for about six or seven years and he had in fact just fueled up and gotten back on the freeway when this crash happened. Now, right now, this is what the northbound lanes of I-75 look like from our chopper. Crews laying down fresh concrete over the freeway. MDOT needs to replace concrete on all of the lanes, the shoulders, and the median wall. The damaged section is actually only about 100 square feet, we're told, but this entire one-mile stretch between Outer Drive and Southfield Road, uh, Road will remain closed until this work is finished. Now, of course, that section of road was heavily damaged yesterday when the driver lost control of his tanker. It was hauling 8,000 gallons of gasoline around 3 a.m. Thursday. He was driving southbound on I-75 when he struck the median and crossed over into the northbound lanes, and that tanker caught fire. Of course, those flames uh, could be seen from miles away, and a lot of these residents nearby heard that explosion. Uh, right now, MDOT tells us their goal is to get I-75 northbound back open by Monday morning rush hour. Of course, that's going to depend on weather conditions here, but for now we're live in Lincoln Park. Uh, be sure to take either uh, Fort or Dix Highway when you're heading um, back home from work today. Live in Lincoln Park, Jane Park, 7 Action News. Yeah, and Jane, Joanne. also a very busy week, big weekend, I should say, I understand, in downtown Detroit with tons of activities going on, so people really have to be mindful of that before they head out this weekend. They do. Uh, I did speak with some drivers. They said uh, it's not too much of a headache, but if you don't know about this closure, you're going to be stuck in a lot of backup. So be mindful of that. Park reporting. Thank you so much. So again, northbound I-75 closed between Southfield Road and Outer Drive. The southbound lanes in that area again have reopened. A huge drop on Wall Street.